All right, so you're considering making a move to Clearwater, Florida, and you're wondering what is up with Clearwater Beach? What's going on with Clearwater, Florida? Are they the same thing? Is it a good place to move to? Well, in today's episode, we're gonna talk all about that. I'm gonna take you all around Clearwater, Florida, show you some real estate, show you why people love Clearwater, Florida. You know, today's a little bit of an overcast day, but I've been shooting all week for you guys, so I think you're really gonna enjoy this episode. So if you wanna learn more, make sure you stick around. Today I'm walking you through Clearwater, Florida. Right now we're standing on Pier 60, which is famous and it's world renowned. And, and for those of you who aren't aware, Clearwater Beach is recognized annually as one of the best beaches in the country. You know, it kind of is in a dog fight usually with like Destin Beach and Siesta Key. And they'll argue, you know, who's the best, who's the best. But to be honest with you, all those beaches are great, but Clearwater just has so much to offer people. People come you know, here from all over the world. They'll go to Disney, they'll come to Clearwater. Oh, they'll come to Clearwater and they'll go to Disney. But it's an attraction for a reason. Obviously, number one, we're on the Gulf of Mexico, has a ton to offer. But number two, you know, there's just so many activities you can see behind. You've got all these blow up slides and activities for the kids. There's shopping, um, you know, hotels for days, condos all along the waterfront. We're gonna visit a lot of these properties here today. But I wanted to give you some insights as to what the city looks like because sometimes if you're considering moving to an area you just don't know you don't know what it feels like you don't know how to live uh what it lives like and the lifestyle i think is more important than the houses a lot of the times and it's something that we definitely want to make sure that we're focused on so what i wanted to do today is just take you around clearwater beach Clearwater and expose you to um, the differences between the two things because I didn't know that Clearwater Beach and Clearwater, the city of Clearwater, were actually two different cities. They're separated by the intercoastal waterway, which is just this little strip of water that protects the inland from the, the barrier islands, which is what Clearwater technically is. And, uh, you know, Clearwater has this beautiful white sugary sand, which we're gonna show you. Um, and it, it just has a lot to offer. You know, we're right dab smack in the middle of Pinellas County, um, which is just to the west of downtown Tampa. You know, if you've, if you've never been to the area before, Tampa Bay, you know, is uh, St. Petersburg, Clearwater, and Tampa kind of all make that triangle there. But it's, it goes beyond that. You know, we've got suburbs well to the north and to the east out of Riverview, Brandon, up in Wesley Chapel. We've done videos on all these places before. But I wanted to share this with you today because, you know, again, a lot of the times there's confusion around what is Clearwater versus Clearwater Beach. You know, the thing to know is like the city of Clearwater offers, we're right, like I said, dead smack in the middle of Pinellas County, but we're also dead smack in the middle of the average price point in America. And I know, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, things getting expensive. And for, if you were a Floridian and you lived here for, you know, the last 10, 20, 30 years, then yeah, you would think that prices have gone bananas. But when you stack us up against the, uh, the median sales price nationally, Pinellas County, Tampa Bay, it fits dead smack in the middle of that. You know, the average home in America right now costs right around $450,000. Now, you may be somewhere where you laugh at that. You say, we're not even close to that one way or the other but here we're dead smack in the middle. So I share that with you guys because I want you to know that, that you know, Tampa Bay is still a value, coastally speaking. And what do I mean by that? Y'all, if this is your backyard yeah. and you can get in here for the same price that you can get into in middle America, why would you not consider that? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to share all of the, the good, the bad, the ugly. I'm gonna share from my perspective. You know, the one thing I wanna make sure that you guys know is like, I love to share and be open and honest. And the thing you're gonna find is, uh, I'm gonna share that with you today, right? Like the thing that I, I would love for people to know right away is the traffic here during season is brutal, okay? Because most people won't tell you that. They, won't they want you to know all the, the, the creamy luxury, you know, yeah. There's beautiful condos on the beach here, right? Like you can find them anywhere on this coast. You will not be disappointed. But the thing that you're gonna have to deal with if you decide to move into one of those condos is this is gonna be your beach every day, right? We're not even in season, okay? 
and season runs from the end of November to uh, right around the end of April, uh, give or take, right? I always say uh, Mother's Day is probably the official end of it. And people really start to show up, you know, after the Christmas season, you know? So January 1st, it gets really busy, even though season technically starts at the beginning of November. If this is your backyard every day, that is both a blessing <laughs> and a challenge because there are going to be people on this beach every day you know it's the middle of summer it's hot you can see today's kind of overcast it's going to be a little bit gloomy a little bit rainy it's still warm you can see the sweat on my brow right now <laughs> so that's another thing that is you know one of those challenges when it comes to living in the area but you know for the 300 days of sunshine we get it is totally worth it and me i've shared this with you guys before i'm from the north and the thing is is when people ask me they're like what's the biggest difference between living you know i'm from detroit originally what's the biggest difference between living in detroit and living in Clearwater, Florida, or living in Tampa Bay. And I always tell people the exact same thing every time. You do not have to shovel sunshine. And that is so powerful when you think of that. So for these you know, days that might be a little bit overcast, might be considered a little bit gloomy, you know, it's totally worth it to me because it's just incredible, right? One of the things we also get asked is, is hey, is Clearwater safe, right? Well, you can see behind me right here, you've got a police officer who's you know, walking the streets. There is plenty of people who are, are, are around to help protect the area and preserve the, the, the wonderful things that the community has to offer. So I can't speak to that directly. I have a real estate license. They don't allow us to do it, right? But I think it is important that you know that that is part of the deal. All right, now, speaking of that, if this is your first time on the channel, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate professional, and I help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest in the Tampa Bay area. However you gotta get hold of us, whether that's text message, emails, uh, phone calls, DMs on Instagram. There's even a calendar link in my uh, description down below. Feel free to schedule a time that works best for you. I love talking about Tampa real estate and I'm here to share everything that this beautiful area has to offer. Now, also, if you wouldn't mind hitting that little subscribe button, clicking that little bell. That way you can be notified every time we make a new video just like this, because I think it's valuable. Uh, to share these experiences with you. So I wanted to jump out and get a head start on this today. And I'm, I'm walking the beach here today so you guys can kind of see what's going on. And again, you've got all these condos um, and hotels directly behind me here. This is Clearwater Beach and you can't see it yet, but I'll show you guys uh, through the drone that the Clearwater Causeway is just over here. And then that's gonna take you back to the mainland, right? Right over that intercoastal waterway like we were talking about in the, into Clearwater proper. Now on, Clearwater Beach, you have, you know, shops galore, you have plenty of opportunity, there's parking, parking is a little bit tough. Um, so just be mindful of that most people try to get out to the beach early. The thing I want you to be aware of is whether you're visiting or you're considering moving to the area. Um, if you are fair skinned, you better buckle up and have a hat, have some shade, have some sunscreen because our sun will tear you up y'all. I'm, you know, kind of in that middle zone where I get a decent tan, but I can't spend more than an hour and a half outside, even with sunscreen because it will tear me up. We put about a 30 minute limit on the kids before we re-lather them up every single time. And we're only out for about an hour and a half max. Sometimes we'll go two hours. You can go all day if you're covered with shade, if you have plenty of water to stay hydrated um, and you're willing to uh, know that your skin is gonna get beat up a little bit. But I don't encourage it, y'all. Um, if you're coming to the beach, please be prepared because it, it it is our sun is aggressive. It is beautiful, but it loves to um, It'll, if I show you some of the people that walk around the beach, you'll know exactly what we're talking about. We call them lobsters, um, and they're very easy to identify. You can always identify the lobster tourist. You don't want to be one of those, especially if you are a local, right? So you got to get out of that habit. But on the causeway here, you come over the causeway, there's a little roundabout right in the middle down there, and it come, butts up to the marina here. You've got the beach walk on this side here, which has the condos and hotels. You'll find the Hilton, the Marriott, all the hotels down in that area here. And as you go down the other side there, you're gonna find some other condos and a lot of shopping and dining. There's a Ben and Jerry's, there's a Mexican restaurant, a lot of really cool things there. And directly behind me here is the is the marina where you can take a pedal pub, right? You can take the boat sails, you can rent jet skis, you can do all the thing at the marinas directly behind me here. You know, it's a very easy area to navigate. It's only one strip. Um, it goes from the north end of the beach all the way to the south end of the beach down here. You've got walkways, it's very accessible, um, and again, easy to get to. So I think you're really gonna enjoy it. But we're gonna get around, we're gonna go toward the city today. I think you're gonna enjoy it, let's go.
So we're here at beautiful Crest Lake Park, and as you can see behind me, this place is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you got volleyball over there, they're actually playing right now. You've got covered pavilions, which are concrete, which I think is really cool. All kinds of playground and exercise activities that take place here. Um, it's almost an entire city block long. Down at the end of it, you've got this beautiful dog park um, where the dogs are able to run around. And I mean, there's plenty of hiking and walking trails as well. It's covered, you know, you've got these old growth oak trees, which you can see behind me here, which are just covered in this beautiful Spanish moss. Um, there's ducks walking around and chickens. It's a really cool place to come hang out. And, and enjoy they've got exercise equipment and you know the thing about Clearwater and Pinellas County as a whole and I've shared this with you guys in the past is like we have beautiful parks it Florida is meant to be lived in right it's meant to be experienced it's not just about our beaches it's not just about the sunshine even though we love those things y'all um, it is about being outdoors and being able to take advantage of this beautiful weather right you get you know 300 days of sunshine a year, you know, but what are you doing with it? What do you get to do? How much experience can you have in the communities that you live in? What is the value beyond just the four walls of buying a house in those areas, you know? What I'll say is this, Clearwater gives you so much opportunity to get out and enjoy. It's centrally located in Pinellas County, you know, so you're like 25 minutes to St. Petersburg. You can drive all the way up to Tarpon Springs. You've got access to the beach. You've got access to the bay. I mean, again, there's just so much to just take advantage of when it comes to lifestyle living in Clearwater, Florida, y'all. So one of the best things I think about Clearwater, Florida is the fact that it has access to so many amenities. Now you can see behind me where you got a LA Fitness. There's a Walmart over here on the other side. Uh, you've got a Bell's Outlet, which is one of the uh, local shopping centers. Think of it kind of like Marshall's. That's what it reminds me of. But you know, we've got a dealership right across the road here. Clearwater has access to a majority of the amenities that you will find in Pinellas County. Not only does it have world-class beaches, ranked number one uh, quite often here in America, but it has access to a tremendous amount of resources. It is the only place in Pinellas County where you will find the Costco. It has the Sam's Club, and it just has access to a ton of things you can do between the shopping, between the dining, between the beaches, it has access to the bay. I mean, it's a very diverse environment and it's a very diverse place to live. And that's why so many people love Clearwater, Florida. All right, y'all, so we're in North Beach, which is at the north end of Clearwater Beach, uh, literally right at the tip of the Barry Island here, right at the end of the block there. That's the very north side of the Barry Island. And we're about to check out a piece of real estate I wanted to show you guys. Um, it's just a couple hundred yards if walk to the beach, which is great. Um, gated community here. Uh, you can see it right across the street. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1,456 square foot home. Um, you know, it gives you access to everything that Clearwater Beach has to offer. It is currently being listed at a million fifty. Uh, price may or may you know stay there we don't know but at the time of this recording that's what it's currently listed at you know built right next to this this home here on the uh, on stilts and a lot of this neighborhood here was established you know in the 50s and 60s um, you know you get the rambler style homes you've also got homes up on stilts there are some new modern homes being built in the neighborhood here as well um, as soon as you come out of the community entrance here they're building brand new homes right on the beachfront, uh, which is just stunning. And we'll, you know, we'll we'll take a little bit of tour through there. But what I wanted you to is get you a sense of what it would be like to live on Clearwater Beach first and foremost. And right now, at the time of this recording, the least p expensive piece of real estate I saw here was uh, three hundred thousand dollars, and it was a one bedroom, three hundred square foot condo. So that's definitely a tiny little guy. But on average, you're going to see that right around the million range, right where you're seeing here. Um, some of these condos go as high as three and a half million. Um, they're absolutely stunning. You know, brand new construction, completely remodeled. You'll really enjoy them. And then some of these are definitely going to be the old, older, you know, Rambler style homes like you see here. You're going to see the Key West style homes like you see there. Um, again, that's right on the water. So I'm giving you perspective of where you are. Let me turn back around here. So that home is two doors down from the corner. That is the Gulf of Mexico right there. So great neighborhood. Why wouldn't you want to be here? Um, something really to take a look at. So if Clearwater Beach is your thing, you know, this is the type of property you can find. I mean, that home is great. Steel roof on it and everything. I can get back over to the side, right? So it's got a steel roof on it. You know, those things last a long time. 
some of them as much as 50 years which is crazy i'm not a roofer you know get into the details on that but that's a block style home uh, completely built with cinder blocks it's got a steel roof on it that thing is built to last i know a lot of the questions i get are regarding hurricanes you know and uh what's it like to live through a hurricane but when you look around the neighborhood here and you recognize that a lot of these homes have been here for 40 50 60 years um, and they're still standing even with those type that type of weather that we get um, it starts to give you a little bit more <laughs> comfort moving to the area i know for me that was something that i was anxious about me and my family didn't understand what it meant to live through a hurricane and then when we moved down here and we saw all of this real estate that was built 50 years ago 60 years ago 100 years ago and it's still standing that gave us a lot more confidence that you know a lot of these things were built to last knowing that there's weather now i'm not saying that it can't be torn off the face of the universe y'all it can you know ultimately you know m mother nature and uh uh <laughs> You know, the big man upstairs are definitely in charge of that program. So, you know, be mindful of that, be understanding. But when you check it out and you understand that these things are still here and they look beautiful, they're doing very well. Um, I think that'll give you a lot more confidence in then making that move. So speaking of the high end here in Clearwater Beach, this is it. So that $3.3 million property that I was just talking about, this is 15 Avalon, uh, unit 502, which is a corner unit up here and it is absolutely stunning y'all the views of the beach which are i'm not going to do it justice from standing down here but we'll take the drone up you guys can check out what's going on here you are just minutes away from the pier 60 which is where we started our day um, and the public beach you've got access to all the amenities down here but i you have to look at the interior of this property is absolutely stunning right a four bedroom four bath 2100 square foot home with 2000 square feet of glass on the patio alone um, i mean it is just incredible to wake up in the morning and recognize that you're just going to have these stunning views and you get to look down over all of clearwater beach i mean who wouldn't want to do this and i what i recognize is i this is not accessible to everyone y'all uh, make no mistake i don't live up here right but there are people who are interested in purchasing properties like this and they are here and i wanted to share this with you so we looked at something that's in the median that million dollar property that we just saw now we're looking at the high end here at 3.3 million uh what they're currently asking at the time of this video knowing that you have you know these stunning views and you just walk right out and you are at the beach y'all literally you come downstairs you walk right out here that is the beach that overlooking the dunes You've got a shower right behind you here so you can rinse back off and then you know you're right back in the condo um, enjoying everything Clearwater has to offer I think it's incredible y'all so I wanted to share this with you again I know this isn't for everyone but there are there are definitely clients who reach out you know I'm blessed enough to have all types of clients to get to serve right um, we have clients who are definitely looking in the luxury space and we have clients that are looking for the average space and um, you know we want to be able to make sure that we're servicing everyone who wants to come and enjoy what Tampa Bay has to offer so if that's you feel free to reach out connect again my phone number is down there you've got my email uh, you can schedule a time on my calendar to talk to the area I'd be more than happy to walk you through one of these tours per, uh, one of these properties personally you can tour it via zoom or anything else to make your life a little bit easier but what I want to do last is I want to go and check out one of those average properties right the median property in the area what is what does it look like to you know where the average home is which is a three bedroom two bath you know roughly 1800 square foot home in the area here in Tampa Bay Florida you know right around that five hundred thousand dollar price point we're gonna go check that out now so now I want to share with you what I would consider to be you know a pretty average home in the area and what I mean by average is like it's not lazy it's just this is the very common type of property that you're gonna find here in the Tampa Bay area and specifically in Clearwater this is a four bedroom two bath 1800 square foot home that was built in 1970 and it's a rambler style home ranch home okay um, split floor plan meaning the masters on one side and the other three bedrooms on the other side it's had some updates done to it it's currently listed at four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars I actually think this house is a really good value. Uh, the median price point in uh, the Tampa Bay area currently is right around $450,000, and that's a three bedroom, two bath home. So this is actually a really good value. This property is in, in very good condition, you know, newer roof on it. Um, and again, this is kind of right in, you know, the middle of uh, Clearwater. We're just north of Gulf de Bay. So it, to give you perspective, this property is about 10 minutes to the beach, depending on traffic, like I was telling you guys earlier. Um, you know, traffic can be crazy on that 
Clearwater Causeway. I know we didn't talk about that a lot earlier, but during season, it can take you as much as an hour to get over that bridge, which is crazy. But here's what I want you to know. There are beaches to the north and there are beaches to the south. You've got Bel Air Beach, Indian Rocks Beach, um, a lot of different opportunities to go put your toes in the sand um, and really enjoy and take advantage of the lifestyle and everything that the Clearwater area has to offer. You know, and, and again, this is really close to a lot of the amenities. You know, the malls, got Countryside Mall, you've got Costco, Walmart, they, all the things we discussed earlier, every single grocery store you could ever imagine is in the area here, you know, just blocks away from where we are. So I think it's a great opportunity to just kind of wrap your mind around you know the things that are coming you know there's a lot of development that is happening in clearwater specifically right now i'm going to share some of those things with you guys too today but i wanted to give you an opportunity just to kind of like check things out get your eyes on the clearwater area know the difference between clearwater and clearwater beach you know and, and again thanks for spending time with us i always appreciate you know let me know where you're watching from you know, please put that in the comments below or any questions you have. And I don't have an assistant answering any questions that you guys put in the comments. That's all me directly. So if you wanted to, to put anything in there and have an answer, feel free. I'm, I'm here. I'm at your disposal. Um, and the last thing I want to do is I want to uh, talk about this development that they're putting together, which is... Um, you know these two towers it's a 400 million dollar investment i'm really excited to share this with you guys i want to jump into the desktop and kind of show you what's going on with this so i wanted to jump on the computer here and share this article with you guys because i think it's super important um, for you to see not only what is actually going on in clearwater today but what is going to happen in the future and this is an important thing to share for a lot of different reasons you know when you're looking at moving to an area one of the things you're, you're trying to gauge is you know are you know people and companies putting money back into the community that I'm considering moving to and I if you're not asking that question I would strongly encourage you to do that and Clearwater is in the middle of some you know a, a incredible renovation right down in Coachman Park which is about 83 million dollar renovation that the city you know and the taxpayers have decided to fund it that they want to beautify the area they live and it's right on the intercoastal you're looking at you can see Clearwater Beach from 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 that view which is beautiful but right now there is a proposed 400 million dollar development from an investment group that wants to come in and build two apartment buildings uh mixed use space on the bottom will be retail so that'll be dining maybe exercise you know it'll probably be a boutique shop so it'll be workspace you know there'll be a, a lot of things that you'll have access to they're going to put parking underground to not take up more space from the community which i think is great and then this uh this uh development will you know be adjacent to coach and park so they'll connect together there'll be all this green space where you'll have you can live there shop there work there go out and run the park take the dog see the see the gulf of mexico i mean it just looks like an incredible opportunity now it all has to be voted on by the taxpayers but this thing has got a lot of legs behind it and it's something that could potentially happen and it'll take about five to six years to get this completely uh developed here but the the thing I want to share with you is that, you know, Clearwater is not only a one of the most beautiful beaches in America, whether it is or isn't is arguable for sure. Um, it is definitely ranked there every year, depending on who you go look at. But one of the things here is like, you know, in, in the greater Tampa Bay area, there are a lot of older established communities and you know there aren't a lot of newer upcoming developments that are happening st pete does and downtown tampa does but when you look at the surrounding suburbs a lot of these places are older when you go down to st pete beach you're going to see what they call old florida you know uh hotels that were built in the 40s 50s and 60s and and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that it's got its own thing but i love seeing you know um, confidence in an economy confidence in a community where someone's willing to come and with a 400 million dollar investment and say i believe in clearwater enough to to invest in this so i think it's worth the share i hope you guys got value out of today's video please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell that way you can be notified and hey if you're considering selling buying or investing in the clearwater or tampa bay area just know that my team at the true living group has got your back whether that's through phone call text message email dm or heck there's even a calendar link down below where you can schedule time that works best for you just know that our team has got your back when it comes to making that move or that investment and until next time go out and live the tampa life